You guys like the west side, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying my, I'm trying real hard. My nose is tingling. <laughs> the solution to that is make it fat. Okay. <laughs> Moving to you the main like of my nose. Like oh. oh. Allergies then? No, usually it's anxiety. Oh. I have this feeling in my nose and my finger. That's oh. That oh, I see that type of. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Dang it. I wanted to play the bagpipe. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to get the rope going. Oh, yeah. You, okay. <laughs> Tonight, today, as soon as she like acknowledges the student musician, she can just you know, destroy it. <laughs> Copy that's, that. That's good. Yesterday we were all like, college. when did we go? <laughs> yeah, we were just I, like, I, I, noticed, I noticed, I wasn't paying attention. And then, like, right before y'all got to go, I noticed, I was like, I guess I should go tell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Usually you blow and it, the sound immediately comes out, but actually you blow into the bag.
think it's been it's, it's fun. Do, this is not absolving you of any fault, but due to clerical errors on our end, that ticket is no longer available. But then somehow I had to pay. Like that one, I said, I was like, I had to order the part. Yeah. And then go out to a car dealership in New Jersey three weeks later. So it's like every other day I'm appealing one of these stupid tickets. Because nowadays they're just trying to get like a quota. Oh, yeah. Like the part you set me quota, it's like, what is the point of doing that? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's so that they're doing their job. Why? <laughs> like pink and maroons and silver? <laughs> why did you, why do you have pink maroons and silver? Pink is music. Okay. So you have these, you know, any other music yeah, that you yeah. have to have pink. I have a pink board. And then the back is your, uh, is the, the, the degree, the school you got your degree from. So Manhattan School of Music is maroons. Ah, okay. That's all. So when I get my doctorate, it will change to whatever I think also maroons and silver. I might not have Whatever Boston is. Can you get an air horn? See you, let's no. go. Why are you typing you, man? See you. They, they, they rejected me. They rejected me. I'm glad they did. What? <laughs> yeah, we're dirty. We're definitely dirty. Why be you? I don't know. Got in. Yeah, there you go. They had the program I needed. It was mostly online. There you go. I might not ever finish. I don't know what to do. That's why you don't go to BU. B okay, I've been to BU's campus. It is horrible there. Like, yes, so it's like a whole little, like, town. Here's BU. That's how big Boston, Boston University, you can't discern the campus from the city. Yeah. It's just city block. The music building is the ugliest building I've ever seen. It is an old, like, car <laughs> dealership from the 1920s. And then this thing, it's like, I'll show you a picture later, but it's like a big, ugly brick in the building. No central heating or air. Oh. And so, like, I'm doing, like, my, I'm doing a presentation there. And, and, and the, uh, the guy who was running the department chair at the time, he's not anymore. Um, he would come in, he would come in for, like, the lecture that day. And he would just turn the air off because he didn't want to hear the noise. Oops. And we're all in there just like, this is like September. Sticky in Boston in September. So sticky. It's always sticky in Boston. Sticky in Boston. Oh, but man. Sticky in Boston with the khakis. And then we would just like, yeah. I wish I'd just one workshop, but I had to like, I could get on the floor and draw stuff with crowns and nothing. And I'm like going, and I'm sweating, and I'm like 47 years old. And I'm like going, no, nah, it's like 45 this time. I'm like, I'm a 45 year old man on the freaking floor drawing markers and crowns. Why do we show up? What are we waiting on? So, I was not, I was not very happy about it anyway. <laughs> and, and so, we had, it was like this team, I don't know what we were doing. Some, some elementary music nonsense. Uh, no, er, elementary music is great. Sorry. But for me, it was nice. <laughs> in the war. Warren, uh, what was Warren, Warren Graham was my partner. He was one of these things where like one person had to draw something and the next person had to draw the next segment. It, he got so, so we're kind of like taking it seriously. And about halfway through, he just takes a marker and just goes, <laughs> and just scribbles over the whole thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was so over it. That'd be really crazy. Hey, hey guys, that's what you do when you get your doctor. You get on the floor and you draw pictures of people. Yeah, it just goes, it just devolves right back to kindergarten. Yeah, let's go. It's a full circle. Full circle. <laughs> Except for writing stupid papers. Yeah, no one wants to, yeah, right. don't you have to write like I a whole research, research thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. I would have loved that. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a third grade. Yeah. It's just the next chunk is the chunk I don't want to deal with. Oh, I'm procrastinating. Three to four? Procrastination is bad. Oh, well, I just need I need dedicated time. I don't have it right now. Well, it's, it's probably gonna be the fall when I when I get that segment done. And then the last segment I can just chunk out of the Christmas story. There you go. The last two chapters. Those will actually be easy. It's just this second chapter. I've already done the third chapter. I skipped the second chapter. That shows you how much I'm doing over there. I expect to call you Doctor Fresno by the time I graduate. Yeah. Let's go. Maybe. 
doctor says so. My dad. My dad they're, they're probably not going to still be that long anyway, so I'm going to be forced to give that. <laughs>
presentation of the colors will be conducted by the Jacksonville University Naval Reserve. And please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Please parade the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pause just a moment. I ask our NROTC colleagues to please hold in place, make sure that we've taken care of a health situation here. Thank you for your patience. Would Brendan McCarthy please come to the stage? Please bear with us one more moment, folks. Thank you. does not appear to be life-threatening, but it is going to take a couple minutes. I'd ask everyone to please be seated. Thank you for your patience. We will start in just a moment. Thank you to our NROTC.
please welcome the class of 2022 graduate Ms. Melissa Caceres, accompanied by Double Dolphin, Mr. Skyler Miller, and our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early lights what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please post the colors. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. Good morning to everyone here. I'm Tim Koss, Jacksonville University class of 1981. And on behalf of our entire university family, it's my distinct honor to welcome you all to our campus today. I would like to acknowledge the terrific fast work of the security team and our emergency medical folks. And we are very pleased that the gentleman walked away this morning. Fine. Thank you. Dedicated professionals. It's a testament to the resilience of this group of young women and men in front of us and the faculty and the staff gathered here that we're able to get together this morning for a commencement exercise on this beautiful campus. The past 24 months, as we all know, have brought us challenges, but they've also allowed us to see and support and celebrate thousands of triumphs of the human, human spirit. spirit. I've been at this 10 years, and this is my 24th commencement exercise to preside over, and I have never been more excited and proud to celebrate the hard work, talent, and perseverance of a group of our graduates as I am this morning. This college is propelling forward the leaders of our healthcare industry at a time we all know they are needed more than ever before in this community and around the world. As we gather under these historic oak trees where so many have graduated over the past eight decades, we remember the dolphins who went before us as we celebrate the incredibly bright futures that await these young women and men. Thank you to our dedicated student musicians who lent their talents to our ceremony this morning. You can find background in each one of them in your program on page three. And thank you to our superb bagpiper who let us all in this morning. He's also a Jacksonville University graduate, Michael Thomas, class of 1996. And thank you to our senior mace carrier, ceremonial head marshal. I hope she'll stand to be recognized. She's celebrating 25 years of service to our campus family, your associate dean, Dr. Lee Hart. Lee, thank you very much. To offer our invocation now, I'm pleased to introduce one of our brightest rising stars, a member of this class of 2022, your newly elected 2022-2023 head of the Student Government Association, your president of that group, Ms. Serena Meister. Serena? Thank you, President Koss. 
It is an honor to celebrate today with our graduates, their families, and our esteemed guests. It is a truly momentous day as we gather together to celebrate the class of 2022. We are grateful for this opportunity to have a moment of quiet reflection. Among us today are families, close friends, brief acquaintances, and those who have never met before. May we be joined together for the next few hours by our shared joy, excitement, and gratitude. As our graduates hear their names called on this spot where so many have come before them, may they also remember those who have supported them along this wonderful journey. May our time together this morning be a reminder to all of us that hard work, creativity, and sacrifice can make a positive impact far more than any one individual. Thank you. Thank you, Serena. Ladies and gentlemen, as we applaud the tremendous success of these graduates, I would draw your attention to the flags that are up here on the platform behind us. They represent the 15 home countries of our graduating class, the United States and countries all the way from Albania to Zimbabwe. And you know, over the course of our 88 years as a university, dating back to 1934, we've been honored to have graduates from every one of these 50 United States and from nearly 100 countries around the world. It's the diversity of this graduating class that's consistent with our university's motto of Fiat Lux, or Let There Be Light, which is here on the front of our stage today. And just as important as the places where our graduates are from is the places that we know graduates will go. At this very moment, our alumni are living and creating and succeeding in thousands of locations around the world. They're thriving at places such as St. Patrick's Cathedral and Mercedes-Benz, Google and Amazon, NBC and Major League Baseball, the Mayo Clinic, Brooks and Baptist, the U.S. government, the United Nations, Broadway, and of course here at our own university and at premier graduate schools from London to Washington, D.C. And the graduates seated here in front of us will now take their place, helping to shape the future of our country. Today, we award Jacksonville University degrees to 676 members of the class of 2022. We also recognize today 24 exemplary students who've earned dual degrees. And we're proud to celebrate today the first graduating cohort of graduates from our Master of Science in Healthcare Quality and Safety program who will sure <laughs> great to be first they're going to work as patient safety advocates transforming the delivery of health care around the country every student who walks across this stage today it joins the nearly 40,000 graduates of this university over the years including several of us up here on the platform dating all the way back to 1934 and we warmly welcome every member of this great graduating class into the ranks of student ambassador, alumni ambassador. We also welcome today a most distinguished keynote speaker for your commencement, a great friend to this university and a driving force in healthcare, research, education, and innovation in the United States. The president of American University in Washington, D.C., Sylvia Burwell is here today, and we will hear from President Burwell shortly. It is another warm morning, which is the history of this university for these outdoor graduations. And it's and going to get hotter. So if you already do, I will cut my remarks down to two minutes. Is that agreeable to the graduates? <laughs> Let the record show that is the largest applause I will get today. <laughs> to our graduates, kind me, to our graduates, I offer my sincerest congratulations. You have weathered unbelievable trials over these last two years especially and demonstrated <clears throat> remarkable work ethic, creativity, and energy. We challenged you to adapt and excel, especially since March of 2020, and you have answered that call with distinction. Let me pay you the highest compliment any alum, class of 81, can pay to new graduates. You leave behind you a better university than the one that was here when you arrived. You have improved our university for this class and all going forward. Yes, thank you. 
Our goal from you has been straightforward. We wanted to challenge your intellect and equip you with knowledge and skills with your excellent faculty. We wanted to encourage your exemplary character and tenacity, and then we wanted to turn you loose on the world. And you have competed and excelled at every turn. You and your classmates have won countless awards and accolades and championships. You've earned prestigious fellowships, and you've thrived in international competitions. You are the reason that many of us of our generation have such bright feelings about the future carried by yours. So I ask you to look around this morning as you celebrate. This is your legacy. This university, much improved since you got here, is your handiwork, and we will always be grateful to you. To the family and friends who are gathered here today, congratulations to you, and thank you for all your sacrifices. Whether your son or daughter is a graduate at the grad level or an undergrad, we know this is an extraordinary accomplishment and you've given much and we thank you. This celebration is your celebration as well. To our dedicated faculty who are here, who have adapted and persevered in the face of extraordinary teaching challenges at the collegiate level during this pandemic, you've delivered an exceptional year and an exceptional class. My sincerest thanks for your scholarship, for your leadership, and for your partnership as we've gone through this and built a truly premier university. And to our staff, my deepest thanks at every level. We now recognize our university leadership, notable friends and several honored guests, beginning with our board of trustees who are here to celebrate with you this morning. First, I would ask each to stand briefly as they are called. Our chairman of the board of trustees is here, a major university uh, supporter and the president of Best Bet Jacksonville, Mr. Jamie Shelton. JU trustee and international healthcare executive, Ms. Laura Angelini. JU trustee, JU alumna, and a higher education consulting entrepreneur, Ms. Cynthia Chomiak. JU trustee and well-respected global business executive, Mr. John Miller. Thank you all for being here today. I would offer that this is a board of trustees that is uh, remarkably talented and the value of your diploma goes up each day. Now I'd like to recognize your senior leadership team, including your dedicated academic leadership, talented cabinet and staff. You can find them all on page 18 in your book. Thank you to all of them for being here. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take a little ad lib. Kent and Dee Dee Goldman, Lindsay needs her car key. <laughs> Did I read that right? That's correct. That's for the gentleman who just had some emergency care. We need the car keys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Caroline Busker over here in the green dress has her hand up. If I could ask Kent or Dee Dee Goldman to get the car key to Lindsay to take care of the gentleman who was under a little bit of distress earlier. Thank you. I'd like to continue by saying a special thank you to the President's Parents Council members who've been here and have engaged us over the last several years. Thank you also to the Green Key Honor Society members and their parents who represent the top 1% of academic achievement on our campus. And thank you to the talented Brooks College of Healthcare Sciences Advisory Board, which is represented this morning by one of its members, First Lady Stephanie Cost. And thank you to the thousands of individuals and organizations who've supported this university, 7,000 supporters of Dolphin-22, members of the Legatum Summa Society, and our philanthropic investors, our thanks to all of you. And there's a couple here that if you are aware of the Kegwin School of Nursing, if you are in the Kegwin School of Nursing, the finest nursing school in the region as we know, there's a couple here that had a vision years and years ago with many of us, with Dr. Sapienza, with the deans, and they are here today to celebrate with you. They've traveled to come to Jacksonville. Please help me in recognizing Jack and Beverly Kegwin of the Kegwin School of Nursing. <laughs> who true to form nearly stood nor smiled at me, but it's wonderful to have you both here. <laughs> that is stoic. At this time, I ask Mr. Jamie Shelton, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, if he'd be willing to deliver brief, brief welcoming remarks. Jamie's a talented and innovative business executive that we all know well, and he and his wife, Allie, have been just tremendously supportive, strategic in their ways in helping this university. 
So please join me in welcoming former the chairman of your JU Board of Trustees, Mr. Jamie Shelton. Jamie? Thank you, President Costin. Good morning. On behalf of the 24 fellow trustees of this premier university, who are CEOs, healthcare executives, nonprofit leaders, and entrepreneurs, including more than a dozen Dolphin alum, it's my pleasure to congratulate all of you here today. It really is an honor to be affiliated with this university as we celebrate your bright future. Graduates, this day belongs to you, to you and your families. Your university faculty, staff, and administration celebrating your hard work, dedication, and success with you. All of us are intensely focused on making the learning environment and student experience here much better. To continue supporting and promoting your success and the success of every JU student who follows you. It's a tradition to encourage graduates to see life as a journey, a series of decisions that lead you down the path after college. Your journey these past few years has been filled with more speed bumps and sidetracks than hopefully you'll ever experience again. And you have continued down those paths with grace and determination. As you look at your personal and professional horizon stretching out in front of you today, I encourage you not only to enjoy the journey, but also to look for adventures that will make your journeys more meaningful, more momentous, and more rememberable. Adventuring requires taking risk, and your time at Jacksonville University has given you the foundation for success and resilience as you face those risks. While you were here, you shaped a future that fits your strengths your passions, and your aspirations. You tried, and in some cases, you failed. You got up and you tried again with the support and encouragement of the university and all of those behind you. Now you're prepared to make your own way in a very uncertain world, but a world with so many opportunities for you. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you for being active and impactful ambassadors for the university as you find your own place in the world. We thank you for your contribution and encourage you to stay active with your university and now and in the future. And in closing, this will be my last commencement as chairman and I've presided with the president over many and it is an honor to be here before you all today. But on one small personal note to which more personal to me than all of you there today, my two children, my mother-in-law are here to my right, Camp and Ellie and Joy, and my wife is graduating with you today in the class of 22. So love you, Allie, congratulations. Thank you very much, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie, and thank you to you and your wife, Allie Corman Shelton, for all the great leadership and support Congratulations as Ali walks today. Now it's my pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker, extraordinary individual, the president of American University in Washington and a well-recognized leader in both healthcare and education, Sylvia Burwell. President Burwell has years of experience working in the United States government, including holding two White House cabinet positions, leading hundreds of thousands of federal employees, a trillion dollar budget, and leading this country through critically important times over the last decade. She was Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services. She oversaw, by the way, HHS includes the CDC, the FDA, the National Institutes of Health, for example. She also oversaw the successful implementation of the Affordable Care Act and deftly helped manage our nation's response to the global Zika virus and the Ebola outbreak. She was the director of the Office of Management and Budget, you may know it as OMB, where she worked with Congress to negotiate the two-year budget agreement following the 2013 federal government shutdown. President Burwell also helped lead two of the world's largest and most influential foundations, you would know them, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Walmart Foundation. Her exemplary work at these outcomes-driven organizations 
focused on global economic development and the economic empowerment of women. President Burwell's own education is well worth noting. She's earned degrees from two of the world's most prestigious institutions, Harvard University and the University of Oxford, where she was a Rhodes Scholar. Now, as president of American University, since 2017, a university founded in 1893, she is its first female president. And she's leading a preeminent education and research institution in our nation's capital at a time when our country needs gra graduates of that type more than ever before. And whether you find her on CNBC or MSNBC or uh, in the Hill or in Politico lending her experienced and eloquent voice to the national conversation around business, government, or higher education, it is well worth listening to President Burwell. I've had the pleasure of working closely with Sylvia in a board of directors where we both serve, and I can tell you at all times and behind the scenes, this is a top-notch, high-functioning senior executive of the highest order. We are very pleased to have her here today. So please join me in welcoming forward to the podium a dedicated public servant, talented executive, and committed educator, the esteemed president of American University in Washington, D.C., President Sylvia Burwell. <laughs> president Burwell, in recognition of your substantial contributions to the American collegiate experience and to the public, private, and nonprofit sectors, we have a resolution to share with you presenting you with an honorary doctorate in healthcare leadership and innovation from Jacksonville University. A proclamation like this has 22 sentences that begin with the word whereas, but I will spare this audience all of that and read just a couple. You're welcome. Whereas Sylvia Burwell earned the rare accolade of being praised by both the Democrats and the Republicans for her service to the United States government. And whereas Sylvia Burwell is the 15th president of the renowned American University. And whereas Sylvia Burwell is a trailblazing executive chosen by the Wall Street Journal as one of 50 women to watch for her trailblazing work with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And whereas Jacksonville University is better for having gained Sylvia Burwell's attendance here today as an admired commencement speaker, now therefore be it resolved that the Board of Trustees of your Jacksonville University does hereby confer upon Sylvia M. Burwell the honorary degree of Doctorate in Healthcare Leadership and Innovation. To the class of 2022 and distinguished guests, please join me in congratulating and welcoming to the podium Dr. Sylvia Burwell. President Cost, university leadership, faculty, staff, graduates, families, and guests, I want to thank you all for this incredible honor. Graduates, I am delighted to be able to have the privilege to join you on this special occasion. Let's get this party started. I want everybody to give it up for the class of 2022 Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences. Let's give it up. Jacksonville University's founding in 1934. This is the largest graduating class of JU's largest college in its almost 90 year history. And I am using our because I am honored to now be a dolphin. I'm excited to be speaking to this school that is producing the future of health sciences with a nursing program that is now the largest in the region with the largest licensure passage rates, love that, an orthodontics program that is one of the three largest in the nation. And today we're gonna honor graduates in speech pathology, kinesiology, mental health, counseling, occupational therapy, physical therapy, respiratory care, data analytics, healthcare informatics, and many more. Today is an important time to pause and to celebrate to be proud of what you've achieved, to think about what you brought here, where you've been, and where you're going. And as I look out on this sea of faces today, I see joy, I see relief, I see some exhaustion that might have come from a too late night last night. 
I also see hundreds of individual stories and the culmination of countless hours of hard work, grit, and perseverance throughout what I am certain has been a very challenging few years. To be in school, to be pursuing a path in health sciences during the middle of a global pandemic. I see new paths forged, paths redirected, and paths that have paved the way for others who will come after you, as President Cost mentioned. But most of all, I see pride and accomplishment and appreciation. And I want you to take a moment to remember this feeling, if you remember nothing else from today. Because it's entirely possible that after today, you may not remember me or a word I say. <laughs> My 35th college reunion is coming up in just a couple of weeks. And I am going to be honest with you all, for the life of me, I cannot remember who my commencement speaker was. But I do remember the feelings of accomplishment, the feelings of happiness, the feelings of friendship, and yes, the pride from that day, and all the people that were important to me. So I want to take a moment for us to thank those who have helped and supported each of you all on your journey and helped you make it to here today. So parents, family, friends, professors, mentors, faculty, staff, if you all can raise your hands so that this class can honor and thank you. <laughs> Graduates, these are the people that you will always remember. But maybe if I'm lucky, you're going to remember a few of the things that I want to share with you today. And I usually do things in threes, but like Tim, I'm shortening it. We're doing two today. The, the, I'm with you. Um, the first is the importance of wellness and thriving. And the second is pursuing the meaningful, which your board chair mentioned. Both these ideas reinforce and interact with each other. And I'm going to begin with something I believe is so important to all of us, something that is foundational to supporting everything that we do in life and something that is important to being your best and achieving all that you're able to achieve. Something actually a number of you all have studied. And that something is prioritizing wellness. And in particular, prioritizing your mental health. Supporting, yes, yes, yes. Supporting your mental health and the mental health of others will be one of the defining issues of your time, especially for your work in medicine, health sciences, or public health. In a world where there are so many priorities, this is a bold statement for me to say, but it is one that I truly believe. When I became president of American University, someone asked me what surprised me about my new role. And I remember saying that the fact that so many students have stress and anxiety levels that are so high, and that mental health issues, including de depression, exist more than people think, and we're not willing to talk about it. This surprised me so much that I actually wrote a piece for the magazine Foreign Affairs about it. The piece talked about how students actually convinced me that the stress and anxiety that they were talking about was well beyond the stress that I experienced in college. There were reasons for that difference, from the instances of mass violence or discrimination, to social media, to the economics and the cost of college. And this is what I was witnessing with students before the pandemic settled in and brought its own set of challenges, like isolation and other stressors that folks have experienced for two years and are experiencing today. So I want you to remember that while it's important to make a difference in your work and have a positive impact on others, it's also important that you think about yourself and actively care for yourself. That mean, doesn't mean, I'm not saying, don't work hard or challenge yourself. It just means keeping self-care as part of the equation. I understand I am speaking to a group of caregivers, not care receivers. You're the people that others rely on. But they can't rely on you if you don't take care of your own well-being. And there are always going to be reasons to feel stressed, anxious, emotionally taxed, both in your professional and personal lives. You have undoubtedly experienced these emotions and their effects on your well-being in your academic careers or in your professional pursuits, and you'll experience more. And I won't dwell more on the many reasons today that we could feel those emotions of stress, 
given everything going on in our world. But I just instead want to focus on encouraging you to always take time to acknowledge these feelings and actively care for your mental health as you care for your physical health. Usually in a commencement speech, the speaker tells you, go out and conquer the world. And I am telling you, go out and conquer the world, yes. But I'm also telling you, please create a space to take care of yourself so you are a better conqueror of the world, no matter whatever that shape of conquering takes for you personally. Which brings me to my second piece of advice. Be guided by the meaningful. What does that mean? We spend much of our lives being judged and judging ourselves by external measures that others see and they think about. Those measures set by and used by others are what I mean by the significant. We are often conditioned by the questions we're asked. What are you doing next? Where are you going? How, we, how did you do in school? And to, what your next step is. We're conditioned by society's norms to focus on the significant, the things that are the external measures. But I am encouraging you today to take a road less, but perhaps best traveled. The competition, the grades, the titles are often about the significant. And those are not what actually matters most. Although I am going to admit the title Madam Secretary was pretty cool. <laughs> but the things that make your heart sing are the meaningful. The meaningful are the things that fundamentally give joy and meaning to your life. As you take the next steps in your journey, I would ask you, what makes you feel good about yourself? What are the kinds of things that create the best memories and the most pride? These are the things that are meaningful. And they often can't be measured in title or dollars, but they can be measured in a life well lived. And that's how my first point ties to my second point. Wellness and thriving, that caring for yourself as you drive to excellence and impact is rooted in the meaningful. This school already has you all on a path for both one and two in terms of my points. You know something about wellness, health and mental health. And many of you have chosen health care because it is meaningful to you. You're already starting with credits in this next course in life. As you prepare to join a community of healthcare professionals dedicated to providing service and care to diverse populations, I want you to remember how fulfilling and how meaningful this work can and should be. You are choosing to serve in your own special way and you are choosing to prioritize the needs of others, whether as a nurse, a researcher, educator, data scientist, I share your desire to serve in many ways that advance and support healthcare. My years at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and at the Gates Foundation were some of the most meaningful of my career. My years at HHS were meaningful, and my time at the university is meaningful as well. Because the objectives at a university, to make a difference in someone's life, supporting students in your academic journeys, that really is what's often very meaningful. I was about your age when I was kind of forced to think about this difference between the significant and the meaningful. It was during an interview with Spy Magazine. Without that interview, I hope that I would have paused and realized I was riding on the fast and exhilarating river of the significant. I don't know. But either way, one of the interview questions pushed me to think through the issue, and I'm so happy I did. And I think it can make a big difference in how you frame your thinking about your future. That is, if you actually remember me. If nothing else, I do hope you remember, prioritize your wellness and mental health and choose the meaningful over the significant. But for today, let's just let those feelings of pride and happiness sink in. You did it. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Burwell. Uh, 
President Burwell, when she returns to Washington, will preside over seven graduation ceremonies, if you can picture that. So it's now my privilege to introduce your dean of the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences, a progressive mind and a talented leader, Dr. Mark Tillman. Dr. Tillman joined our university in June of 2020, if you can remember to that moment what was going on in the world. He brought with him an impressive set of skills in, in the advanced field of biomechanics. His prior experience as the dean of two well-respected healthcare colleges and his success as an educator and a researcher to the challenge of continuing to accelerate the success of this college. He's led your college through a period of catalytic innovation and partnership. Under his leadership, we've created a few things, a strategic partnership with Avality, a closer tie with Baptist Health, expanded our long-standing partnership with Brooks Rehabilitation, founded Florida's first certificate in comprehensive oral implantology, partnered with the city of Palm Coast, just to name a few. His passion for mentoring students and commitment to facilitating their success puts us on an impressive trajectory together. And if you'll join me as he comes forward to offer you a few words to keep in mind, offering best wishes to him today and his wife, Emily, who is not with us today because she is expecting their first child today. Yes. Please join me in welcoming forward a guy with no sleep, Dean Mark Tillman. Well, good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you, President Cost. I, uh, I stand before you today as a, uh, a very proud individual, so proud of all of your accomplishments, and also a, a terrified future parent. Um, so, so bear with me. Um, I, I feel like. I could fall into two categories today. I'm here because I'm a very dedicated dean, or I'm a terrible husband. So <laughs> let's uh, let, let's hope that I'm in the, the dedicated dean category. Um, thank you also for the uh, all, all the kind words. I'll just add that I haven't done any of these things by myself without your leadership, President Cost, and your leadership, Provost Sapienza, and most importantly the hard work of the faculty sitting right here in front of me, we would not have made these advancements. So let, let, let's get down to it. Um, so congratulations to all the graduates of the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences. I am honored to be a part of the JU family and proud to serve as dean to all of you amazing graduates. Uh, as students, you have brightened my days I love seeing you on campus, traversing the halls, and attending classes. Our discussions are powerful reminders of why the healthcare sciences and higher education are so valuable. Simply stated, you, you motivate me. And we all know that healthcare is important, but please consider that our planet is home to over 7 billion people, and 95% of us have at least one healthcare problem. A third of us have five ailments. I, I feel like I'm in that category. Uh, to further complicate this issue, by 2030, we will have a shortage of 18 million healthcare workers globally. So we need each one of you. And I thank you for being up to the challenge and for choosing JU for your higher education destination. So today, you join the top tier of the world's population in terms of education and health. You are truly elite and poised for future success. In order to graduate, you dug deep, did whatever it took, struggled, sacrificed, and perhaps even suffered. Please stay gritty as you move forward and your future successes will be guaranteed. Congratulations again, you make me proud. Now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce a friend and colleague who inspires us all with her passion for the well-being of our students. She and her team have overseen the transformation of our student support during the COVID-19 pandemic, rapidly introducing new services and programs in the face of an ever-changing environment. She spends countless hours in conversations with students about how to make their experiences at JU meaningful and fulfilling. She is dedicated to promoting student mental health and to building a truly inclusive campus community. Here to recognize some of our most engaged students, 
please join me in welcoming your Dean of Students, Senior Vice President, Dr. Christy Gover. Thank you, Dean Tillman, and good morning, everyone. I'm, I'm pleased to offer my congratulations to you as well. And I'd like to continue an important commencement tradition, recognizing a number of our most accomplished students. First, I'd like to direct your attention to page seven in your program. To the names of the many student award recipients who were formally celebrated earlier this week by their respective colleges, schools, and institutes. These individuals have excelled both in the classroom and distinguished themselves as leaders during their time here on campus. Please join me in congratulating each one of these talented students. we recognize the extraordinary graduate of this college who is receiving one of our premier university awards, the Fred B. Noble Gold Medal for Scholarship. We invite our winner to the stage when their name is announced to accept their award and take a commemorative photo. The Fred B. Noble Gold Medal for Scholarship honors the students who have earned the highest grade point average in their graduating class. We recognize this academic excellence in honor of the late Fred B. Noble, one of the founders and original trustees of Jacksonville University, who built a successful business career before returning here to earn his degree. He walked in this very ceremony, completing his bachelor's degree at age 84 and his Master of Arts in Teaching at the age of 91. This year, we celebrate a senior graduating summa cum laude with a perfect 4.0 GPA, a remarkable achievement. Please join me in congratulating our 2022 Noble Gold Medal honoree, receiving her Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Ms. Elizabeth Cornelius. Congratulations to all of our award recipients today and throughout this week. You truly personify the best attributes of your college and our university. At this time, I'd like to introduce a colleague and friend whose enthusiasm, skill, and dedication are leading the impressive academic progress here on campus. She is world renowned in the field of communication science and disorders and speech pathology as an inventor, educator, author, and researcher. More importantly, she is a tireless leader and an educational in innovator. Here to recognize our faculty, please welcome Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Christine Sapienza. Good morning. Thank you, Dr. Gover, for that warm introduction. Congratulations, graduates. It is my honor to introduce you to the faculty of the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences. Faculty members, will you please stand? <laughs> to our gathered guests, this is a devoted group of educators, counselors, researchers, and practitioners who too work tirelessly to ensure the success of our students. Their persistence in the face of an unprecedented challenge, challenges during the last two years, has benefited your students immensely. Please join me in recognizing them and thanking them for their continued commitment to excellence. We are also pleased today to recognize the recipients of three of our most prestigious faculty awards. All professors in the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences, 
If our winners will stand and be recognized as their awards are highlighted. First, receiving the Faculty Excellence Award for Community Service. Assistant Professor of Occupational Therapy, Dr. Megan Bevernitz. <laughs> Next, receiving the Faculty Excellence Award for Scholarship and Professional Activities, Assistant Professor of Nursing, Dr. Lila DiTentillo. <laughs> and finally, receiving the Faculty Excellence Award for Teaching, Assistant Professor of Occupational Therapy, Dr. Sandra Brown. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you, and thank you for your continued pursuit of excellence. Thank you, Dr. Sapienza. Congratulations to all our faculty, and thank you for your stellar work. Now it is time to conduct some important business, the granting of your degrees. It is my pleasure to initiate the conferring of these degrees to our bachelor's, master's, dual degree, and doctoral candidates for the class of 2022. Madam Provost, if you'd come forward and join me. As we go through this ceremony, which is a great celebration and why you are all here, we're very well aware, I invite the audience to honor a JU tradition and pay special attention to the cords and stoles around the necks of our graduates. Our students earn these for academic and athletic performance and from other student organizations in which they de dedicated their time and talents while they were full-time students on this campus. In addition, each graduating student who's already invested financially in their alma mater through either the Nelly Support Fund or the JU Scholarship Fund or directly to their own college or sport or organization is wearing a tri-colored cord representing their spirit of philanthropy. I think it says a great deal about these graduates and their families that they've chosen to invest now while students in the scholarship funds for future Jacksonville Dolphins and in the emergency funds for students in need, whether it's from natural disasters, accidents, or surgery, all of which have occurred in this past year. We thank you on behalf of future JU generations. Dr. Sapienza, if you are prepared, we can get started. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, it is my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the university faculty to certify that these bachelor's degree candidates, master's degree candidates, doctoral degree candidates, and dual degree candidates have met or are scheduled to meet all requirements for their respective degrees and to present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. If all candidates would please rise. By the authority granted to Jacksonville University by virtue of its charter and articles of incorporation and according to the laws of the state of Florida, I have received the recommendations of your faculty who in solemn session have declared each one of you worthy of your degrees and have recommended the granting of such degrees. So, by virtue of my authority, delegated by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each one of you the bachelor's degree, master's, doctoral, or dual bachelor's, and master's degree from Jacksonville University with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Jacksonville University class of 2022, it is now time for you to turn your tassels to the left and allow me the first of many to say congratulations. You are now graduates of Jacksonville University. And your first official act is to please be seated. While the marshals please now escort our graduates by rows to the platform. Continuing a long JU tradition, we invite all family members to also stand in respectful recognition of as their graduates are announced. Thank you as we get started. I'd also like to recognize our two distinguished readers this morning, two of our best known and most popular executives. First, your 2022-23 Professor of the Year at Jacksonville University from the Davis College of Business, Dr. Julius Demps. Dr. Demps, thank you for being with us. 
and the Senior Vice President for People and Culture and our Chief Compliance Officer and Legal Counsel, Ms. Alana Forte. Alana, thank you for joining us. Folks, let's get started. We now present the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences 2022 Bachelor's Graduates. Ray Ann Margaret Anderson, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Nursing. Allison Elizabeth Hiles, Summa Cum Laude, University Honors, Phi Kappa Phi, and Departmental Honors in Nursing. Sarah Nicole Batista. Christina Zaludi Van Valkenburg. Jesse Thomas Blackstone. Molly Elizabeth Galloway. Latanya Yvette Deal. Elizabeth Mary Posen, summa cum laude, University Honors, Phi Kappa Phi. Casey Lynn Reedy. Mario Alberto Magliano. Joseph Daniel Tetlow. Ladinia Mercedes Menya Smith, Magna Cum Laude, University Honors. Jaquis Talia Harris. <laughs> Mohammed Baremba Berry. Christy Danielle Lawson. Melanie Charlene Grant. Allison Brown. Amy Lee Wilson. Danielle Marianne Lee. Sade Davidson. Adrian Simona Henley. Trinity Monet Murray. Danielle Marie Tostaven, Magna Cum Laude. Anella Mujanic. Courtney Rebecca Womack. Alexis Brianna Graham Williamson. Kayla M. Taylor. Olivia Agu Gatta. Irina Nundu. Eva Kelly Valagio. Victoria Michelle Mauger. Susan Morshed, summa cum laude. Lauren Rose Aleka, cum laude. Haley K. Coper, summa cum laude, University Honors, Phi Kappa Phi. Hannah Taylor Bennett. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Braswell. Mariah Alexis Renzinski. Ramona Ashlyn Sinsley. Sarah Garber. Deja Marie Farr. Danielle Nicole Shiver, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth R. Kratom, Magna Cum Laude. Brittany A. House. Genesis Cyan Alvarado Avalas. David Fernando Padilla Moncada. Maria Catalina Ray. Haley Elizabeth Lowe. Sarah A. Croco. <laughs> Michael Richard Iser, Magna Cum Laude. Sabrina Ale Alexis Montiero Jack. Gabriela Gonzalez Cespedes. <laughs> Campbell Balin Brannon. <laughs> Cameron Sloan Harris. Meredith R. Sprague, Magna Cum Laude. Ashley R. Halleck. <laughs> Alyssa Danielle Schuerman, Cum Laude, University Honors. Caleb Daniel Krisner. 
Darren Oliver Christian. Madeline Ann Montgomery. Caroline Picton Wells, magna cum laude, University Honors. Aiden McKenzie Jordan. Kaylin Tracy, summa cum laude, Phi Kappa Phi. Ashley Danielle Mack. Kelvin Lawrence Stevenson. Lauren Elizabeth Phillips. Eileen Torolo. Alyssa Renee Arnold, cum laude. Sarah McKenzie Elms. Hannah and Carolyn, magna cum laude. Hunter Jean Riggs. Elizabeth Chris Cornelius, summa cum laude, University Honors, Phi Kappa Phi. Emily Rose Sider, summa cum laude, University Honors, Phi Kappa Phi. Roncha D. Carradine. <laughs> Rachel Barahona. Claire L. Bimurl, magna cum laude. Sarah Ann Flowerday. Cantina Charlotte Rose, magna cum laude. Tristan O. Nickerson. Kevin Bent, summa cum laude, Phi Kappa Phi. Matthew Levy. Joshua James Araujo Wilson. Kelsey M. Kassman. Olivia Rain Huddleston, cum laude, Departmental Honors in Nursing. Alicia Michelle Martinez, Departmental Honors in Nursing. Julia Kate Blackburn. Julia Ava Franchette, magna cum laude, University Honors, Departmental Honors in Nursing. Chase Rollins Ewing, magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in Nursing. Macy Jordan Legrand. Jake Andrew Legrand. Claire Richardson Budnick, cum laude. Sarah A. Rickard, magna cum laude. <laughs> Leah Rose Ranallo. Griffin Michael Maxim, cum laude. We next, Guinnessola Wiwiwe, magna cum laude. Charles Cameron Lars King. Madison Nicole Taylor, Departmental Honors in Nursing. Brooke Lexi Metters, Departmental Honors in Nursing. Ashley Sari Escobar Hernandez. Erica Jane Blackowitz. Marcella Pellet Cum Laude. Nicole Nadine Smith. Timothy Rogers. Goodness, Morgaji, cum laude, University Honors. Angela N. Pali, magna cum laude. Darylandra Pickett, cum laude. Amanda Chen, cum laude. Julia Marie Wilbur. Tatisha Laquan Harmon. Althea Michelle Carabayo, cum laude. Nikisha Zaniqua Reimer. Odravius Lavelle Gay. Karen Wallace. Nishandria Tremaine Massey. J.B. Donaldson Jr. <laughs> Melissa Ann Sullivan. Raymond F. Myers. Caitlin Hargraves, magna cum laude. Yao Feng Hein, magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in Nursing. Charles Wayland Porter, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors in Nursing. Kaysen Tyler Bunch, cum laude. Michael Andrew Sikta, magna cum laude. <laughs> Marissa Mary Pinelli, cum laude. Marcia Motley, cum laude. This concludes the class of 2022 bachelor's graduates. We 
now present the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences 2022 Masters graduates. Raquel Natalie Vogel McGriff. Christian Coypel. Michael Daryl Hicks. Christopher Jacob Rodriguez. Rocio Castro Gonzalez. Tiana Tron. Allison Hughes. Woo! Alexandra Perron. Madison Taylor Alfrey. Jessica Andrea Gray. Tara Ashley Lynch, Phi Kappa Phi. Victoria Priscilla Keller. William Justin Walk. Rebecca Tymi Dea. Lee Beth Ortiz Gonzalez. Jalice James. Kimberly Michelle Morrison, Phi Kappa Phi. Nicole Yvette Bell, Phi Kappa Phi. Justin Thomas Hand. Shirletta A. Hall. Justina Lasso Iglesias. William T. High Jr., Phi Kappa Phi. Audrey Catherine Donna. Stormy Brooke Hayes. Kayla J. Brewer. Catherine Sutter. Diana Thomas. Reluca Harris. Angelica Morgan Bosian. Emma Lorenz. Jocelyn Gonzalez Etheridge. Amy Elaine Charles, Sigma Theta Tau. Caroline Desiree Idol, Phi Kappa Phi. Deldra V. Dent. Jill Ada Gomez. Michelle Ann Gentilozzi. Tracy Marie Harris, Phi Kappa Phi. <laughs> Jamie Kathleen Malencon. <laughs> Kelly Rochelle Green. Noel Gurung. Sierra Margaret Divinuto Wyatt. Allie McKenzie Mills. Carlotta Kennedy Keene. Cecilia Annette Hernandez Phillips. Jamie L. Patton. Cecilia Matthews. Shara Lanicia McFall. Rachel Leah Wright. Caitlin Victoria Kavanaugh. Swapna Nadakutini, Phi Kappa Phi. Kamisha Kalera Zakia Hatcher. Sarah Ann Spence. Morgan Nicole Bradley. Rebecca Nicole Hill. Lauren Boster. J. W. Kim. Jennifer Faber. Rebecca F. Fisher. Hinda Memdu. Clayton Jeffrey Bleichus. Megan Brooke Zimmerly. Kirsten Cassidy Del Pizzo, Phi Kappa Phi. Anna Greentree. Amy Catherine Chapman, Phi Kappa Phi. Randy R. Redding. Amanda Michelle Francisco. Michelle Marie Marks. Heather Glover Lloyd. Sanella Meskich. Catherine Abigail Schaefer, Phi Kappa Phi. Danielle Gloria Estelle Blanchard. Casey Hartman Neitz. Angela Michelle Najafi, Phi Kappa Phi. Diana Isabel Colette. Theron I. Schooler. Vanessa R. Roth. Patrice Camille 
White. Malena Sutton Boyce, Phi Kappa Phi. Andrea Joy Essex. Woo! Alicia Ann Holmes. Leah Cooter. Marche Perry. Megan Marie Iannone. Anne Elisa Bieber. Samantha K. Fagliano. Ashley Ann Taylor Kinsley. Madison Ann Martin. Madeline Rose Mendes. Melanie Ann Chacon, Phi Kappa Phi. Kaylee Wayman Dunnigan. Dossiris Mercedes Silva Salas. Natalie Rosado. Hannah Coleman Atkinson. Savannah Chopla. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Pope. Brooke Alexandra Hierholzer. Ashley Nicole Schneller. Rachel Jill Colon. Madeline Joy Damasilowski. Rebecca Lee Kelly. Morgan Ross Dees. <laughs> Olivia Page Lake. Harley Alexis Rafalo. Jason David McCurry. <laughs> Madison Taylor Pyle. Emerald S. Zoronius. Ashley M. Golden. Riley Ellison Edwards. Jayla Davis. Silvana Kanani. Nicole C. Liggins. Alicia Abigail Glisson. Marissa Jane Carr. Shayna Nicole Reed. Emily Marie Height. Rose M. Bataparampil. Princess Ikong Aquanet. Crystal Janae Hopkins. Emily Danielle Williams, Phi Kappa Phi. Shakara Rochelle Johnson. Taylor Celeste Hawks. Ariane LaQuesta Vita. Linda Michelle Cole. Charmaine Joyce Chavis. David Bernard Q. Vittorio. Lara Christine Lardizabo Nakwi. Justin Christopher Ralston. Emma Grace Wisdom. Christina Marie Pardo, Phi Kappa Phi. Shamara Brianna Wilburn. Jamila Patrice Hilliard. Justin DeRay Harris. Diego A. De La Cruz Huertas. Sophia Rebecca Klebner. Arthur I. Ephraim. Malia Victoria Davis. Lakeisha Michelle Grant. Tatiana L. Hudson. Devion A. Bruton. Melissa, Melissa D. Berard, Phi Kappa Phi. Carly Elise Sisson, Phi Kappa Phi. Isabel Justine Hall. Sierra Nicole Belthausen. Hannah Chapman Parsons. Altiera Aisha Kaufman. Davida Anisha Lewis. Devin Cornelius Lafere. Allison Corman 
Shelton. Equibet Otieno, MSN with a concentration in healthcare quality and safety. Bianca Lombard. Raquel Andrea Brown Batiste. Kendall C. Showers. Yolanda Nicole Atkinson. Michael A. Robinson Jr. Tamima Dowdy Aman. Irena Haley Smith. Brianna Maureen McMillan. Taylor Hayden McCarthy. Natalia Alejandra Jimenez. Margaret Catherine Good. Alexandra Jordan Heap. Kaylee Lauren Aubin. Isaac Wells Jr. Heather Renee Johnson. Shaylee M. Beefus, Phi Kappa Phi. This concludes the class of 2022 Masters graduates. We now present the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences 2022 Dual Degree Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology and Master of Science in Kinesiology Sciences graduates. Sandy Printemps. Sydney Alexa Larson, cum laude. Ismael Alonzo Cortez. Timothy Joel Morris. Passion Janae Williams, cum laude. Asha Jalini Simpson, cum laude, University Honors. Haley Alana Rose D'Alessandro. King Miles A. Joyner, cum laude. Allison M. Lucas. Emily Rita Pineda. Renee Elizabeth Hudson. Deborah Denise. Woodham. We now present the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences 2022 Bachelor's Degree, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing and Master's of Science in Nursing graduates. Priscilla M. Salas. William Morris Hale. We now present the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences 2022 doctoral graduates. Michelle McDonald. Yavish Crawford, Phi Kappa Phi. Yavish Crawford, Phi Kappa Phi. Michelle Denise Rutilius. Natasha Karen Anderson with honors. Asha Innes Emeka. Sadie Richardson Durham. Tony M. Hamilton, Phi Kappa Phi. Jennifer Lindell Smith. Terry Lynn Delgado, Phi Kappa Phi. We now present the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences 2022 Dual Degree Master of Science in Health Informatics and Master of Business Administration graduates. Rachel Ann Glassberg. Hannah Robinson. This concludes the class of 2022 Dual Degree graduates. We now present the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences 2022 Dual Degree Master of Science in Nursing and Master of Business Administration graduates. Tamar McLaughlin. Stacy Ann Connors. Jennifer L. Armstrong. 
Ryan Alexander Powell. Chelsea Marie Briette, Phi Kappa Phi. <laughs> we now present the 2022 Doctorate of Nursing graduates. Anna Lee Wright. Michelle Nicole Charette. Kevin Thomas Wright, Phi Kappa Phi. Ashley Exley Sinclair, Phi Kappa Phi. Stephanie Elizabeth Bosma. Tracy Drinkwater. Jennifer Perfect. Rachel Janelle Wassel. Sean Patrick Lynch. Maureen Erin Williams. Emily Ann Archer. Alyssa Danielle Moritz, Phi Kappa Phi. Elena Lee Allen. Maya Maria Cycli. Kelly Lloyd Alicia Nelson, Phi Kappa Phi. Riasha Yvonne Pryor. Brandy Kanesha Joseph. Shiran. Ariel Jones, Phi Kappa Phi. Nadine LaShawn Ruffin Briscoe. Felicia LaShawn Mason. <laughs> Teresa Lavette Peterson. <laughs> Lydia DeLasandro. Michelle S. Foster. <laughs> Victoria Leanna Hogans. Wada Mominovich. Tiffany Faye Braddy. <laughs> this concludes the class of 2022 doctoral graduates. We now present the class of 2022 Doctoral graduates of Occupational Therapy. Dr. Megan Alexandra Riggin. Logan Denise Luke. Dr. Tara Michelle Ferlani. Dr. Francesca Rosina Albani. Dr. Jacqueline G. Engelbrecht, Phi Kappa Phi. Dr. Sydney Amber Thomas, Phi Kappa Phi. Dr. Taylor Rose Thompson. Dr. Cameron Shay Strickland, Phi Kappa Phi. Dr. Brian Wagner. Dr. Mary Elizabeth Dartes. Dr. Catherine Denham Stallings, Phi Kappa Phi. Dr. Pauline Rinthara. Dr. Siobhan Marie Orr. Dr. Adriana Denise Foster. Dr. Chantel Samantha Wright. Dr. Robin A. Harding. Dr. Catherine Denise Carey. Dr. Maggie Ann Daniels, Phi Kappa Phi. Dr. Elizabeth Leanne Krista. Dr. Megan Kristen Lane, Phi Kappa Phi. Victoria Nicole Gonzalez. This concludes the Doctorate of Occupational Therapy, and this concludes the awarding of all degrees. Thank you, Dr. Demps. Thank you, Alana Forte. Ladies and gentlemen gathered here today, I present to you for the very first time the Jacksonville University Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences 2022 class. Congratulations.
bless you all. One of the most meaningful Jacksonville University traditions is to honor the graduates who will later today also be commissioned as officers in the United States Navy and the United States Marine Corps. Since, since 1971, the Jacksonville University's Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps, or NROTC, has forged a special bond between this university and the Jacksonville area military community, making our NROTC one of the finest in the nation. Since its inception in 71, this unit has provided more than 1,700 ensigns and second lieutenants for duty as officers in the United States Navy and the United States Marine Corps. Now we are pleased to recognize the pending commissions of your dedicated classmates who also received their bachelor's degrees here this morning. I invite these graduates to stand and be recognized. First, receiving his Bachelor of Science degree in kinesiology and being commissioned as an officer in the United States Marine Corps later today, Mr. Tristan Nickerson. Tristan? And receiving her Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology and being commissioned as an officer in the United States Marine Corps later today, Ms. Hannah Carolyn. We wish you Godspeed in your service and good luck. We will see you tonight at commissioning. Semper Fi, sir. Thank you. At this time, we would also like to recognize our university's extended military family, including those fine graduates, along with 265 active duty U.S. military, reservists, and veterans, and another 128 military affiliated students currently enrolled at our university. They represent the embodiment of what we mean when we talk about service and excellence and humility and others. I invite everyone, please, in the audience today who has served in any branch of the military service for this United States to please stand now so we can properly recognize you. of all of us who have not served, thank you so much for your service to our country and for your sacrifices to ensure the freedoms we celebrate today. Graduates, it is time now to enjoy your day of celebration and the lifetime of achievement that lays in front of you. We invite all graduates and their families and their friends to please remain on these historic grounds for as long as you like today. This campus is yours. It's your home. So please take video, get your cameras out, feel free to come up here on the platform, go to the dolphin statues, stay. This will always be your home here at Jacksonville University. And so at this time, I would ask us all to please stand and join the class of 2022 graduate, Mr. James Demps, accompanied by Skylar Miller in the singing of our alma mater. The lyrics are on page four of your program. And then I'd invite you to remain standing for a brief time longer uh, for the benediction. James. On the banks of the wise St. John's stands our alma mater dear, where by striving and through our friendships we find a pathway clear. It's the place where our thoughts return as through this busy world we roam. For our memories will always lead us back to our college home. heard it better than that. Thank you, James. And thank you, Skylar. And now we welcome back Miss Serena Meister to conclude our ceremony by offering the benediction. Serena.
Friends, as we go forth from this celebration, may the joy and hope of this very moment serve and guide you to find a lighted path in your world. Remember the power of positive intent and timely action in a world full of many challenges, yet therefore many opportunities. Use your many talents to create meaningful relationships, build communities, and spread compassion. Mm -hmm. And always come back safely to your JU family with pride and peace in your hearts. Congratulations, class of 2022. Yeah. Thank you, Serena. Graduates, as you go out now into the world, we ask of you one thing. Seek to achieve your full potential. You have extraordinary opportunity in front of you, and you have the talent and the grit and the preparation to succeed. Go with confidence and ascend to your rightful place. Ladies and gentlemen, warmest congratulations to all. Good morning. We are concluded. Congratulations. Yeah.